Nikki. 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 Hello. Hello. Do you mind awfully just keeping an eye on me while I do this? Yes. I'm going to see if Nikki, the home economist who I keep in this cupboard, has any tarragon. Nikki. Hello. Hi. Do you, do you have any tarragon? You've already got it in your hand. That's I amazing. How saying. did you know? <laughs> Telepathy. That's a top cooking tip. Run your fingers the wrong way, like stroking a cat in the wrong direction. I, I think. I don't know. A little bit more. That's fine. There's a top tip for you. Put water in. Tiny bit, tiny bit. Tiny bit of water. That's just to stop it sticking to the pan. We will now... I didn't say you could do it. Sorry. Did you put any water in your doll? Uh, no. We need to put some water in. Oh, do I? Yes. Oh. All of that? Yes. Seriously? Yes. Don't forget to add a quarter of a litre of water. Oh, that suddenly started smelling fantastic when you disturbed it. Did it? Good. Yeah, smells, smells spicy and creamy at the same time. 50 grams of butter and 50 grams of flour are combined to make a roux. And as roux is our safe word, Nikki immediately appears from her cupboard. Nikki! I've screwed up. What's happened? Well, they're saying those are burnt. Are they burnt? I'd say they were nicely caramelised, but... Thank you. Um, yeah. They're burnt. I can't remember where I was going to use the limes at. You were on going the... to put it on... Once you'd plated up, you were going to have the lime on the side and squeeze it. That was it. Would you say that's too wet or too dry? That's fine. Yeah? Bring it out of the bowl. Think how much harder this is to do if you're doing it by yourself, especially if you're a beginner like me. I recommend that you get a Nicky, just as if you want to own an old Italian motorcycle, I recommend that you buy a van and have a man follow you around with it. It's just <laughs> the way life is. How did you do this before the electric mixer was invented? Did you have Wooden spoon. So people who did this for a living would have been built like oxen. Massive, massive muscles. Yeah. You wouldn't have picked a five of them, would you? No. So if I do... I think maybe the other way around, so that it curves around the core. Oh, uh, yeah, it could be right. Ah, ah, hey, we might be on to something. I'd love to use your rotary cheese grater, thank you. I've never used a rotary cheese grater before. This particular one is made by Mouly in France. Mm. Do you know how to do it? <laughs> That's a yes. Oh, dear. Nikki! Hi. Sorry, I need a, a small white plate. A small white plate? To grate the ginger on, because it's got to be white, because the publishers are here and they say everything's got to be oh, white. Go so... get one from the special white plate department. A special white plate. Thank you very much. Sorry about that. Would you like a glass of wine, actually? I'm going to have one. Can I take it to my cupboard? Yes, of course you can. Nikki! Hello. Uh, your Thai chicken noodle soup is ready. It smells delicious. Let me taste. Mmm. That's mm -hmm. good. It's really good. Is it? Really good. It tastes like things my nan used to make for me. I mean, trifle doesn't mean anything. It just means mm. a load of great stuff in a, in a, in a glass thing. What's not to like? I like it. Your Excellency. Yes. The Alphabetti spaghetti, alphabet-shaped spaghetti hoops pieces on toast with pesto is available. Do you know what? That's really nice. It's all right, isn't it? That's perfect. Look, I asked for medium, and then I was fickle enough for medium, rare, medium, and that is definitely... If you're happy with that... I'm very happy with it. Thank you. That's very generous. We'll pay you anyway. You don't have to say that. Tastes like black pudding and potatoes. Are and chilli. Potatoes chili. cooked? Yes. Possibly would have cooked them a little bit more to get them crispy. Well, this is the thing. I, I did try to cook them to make them crispy, but the pan went crispy rather than the potatoes. Oh, no. Maybe Sorry. I'm... I'll, okay. I'll clean it for you. Oh, man. Cauliflower's mm. held. It's not mm. too soft. Is it hot? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? Oh. That is, that's great. That's really hot. Mm. <laughs> really, really hot. <laughs> hot. <laughs> Can I have it? It's suboptimal, as they say in business, I believe. Is it suboptimal? Um, I like the... Um, <laughs> I'm not keen on the saffron, personally. Do you mind if you do that again? But you could, if you could be a bit more positive, because I want to put this one in the book. Oh, OK. And people watch the show and say, Nikki didn't like that one, but it's in the, why is it in the book? I'll go first this time, okay. let's see. Mmm! That's amazing! Ah, quite good. No, it's quite good. good. It's quite good. It's good. I like the cardamom in it. It's sort of orange jelly with the corruption of dead pasta in it. It's nasty. 
It is actually it's disgusting. I don't know what I'm trying to talk about. It's absolutely <laughs> vile, isn't it? It's, it's really horrible. horrible. Why are we eating it? It looks horrible. It tastes horrible. It is horrible. What's not to like? It tastes like porky chips. I think that's a very sophisticated breakfast. It's better than smashing them up and putting them on toast and charging 20 quid for them. I think that's our conclusion, isn't it? I think so too. Cheers. Cheers. Take that, hipsters. For more content from me, click one of these links. And please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And why are you all so obsessed with me saying cheese? <laughs>